Bonjour, bonjour, and welcome to number 27 of Travels Around My Bedroom. Now, I told you yesterday that I thought I wasn't making any more mistakes about the number of my videos, but I'm in doubt now. So, actually, I think I'm quite sure it's number 27 now. So, I wanted to show you my little installation as well, just here. You see that little chair? It's actually a, a chair that I used to sit on when I was a child. I still fit on it. Um, but let me, let me sit here. And today I wanted to share with you the second uh, thing that really, uh, when I was a child, made me want to travel the world. So let me put this on my little stand. And here we are. And it is... Da -da -da! Tintin! So Tintin comes from Belgium. Um, and actually, I don't know if you know that, but the French are complete nutters about comic books. We love them. Um, we start reading with them. And we have comic books for adults. Um, and um, pretty much the vast majority of the most well-known comic book writers that we read in France are not French. They are from Belgium. And if you go to Brussels, there is a museum of comics, which I absolutely advise you to go and visit when we can. So I, so this, this Tintin in Congo and uh, this one, Le Crabe au Pins d'Or, are the ones that I inherited from my father. They are the ones that he was reading. And of course, we have all the Tintin. But I... Of my one of my favorites was this one, the Blue Lotus, and that is because I I, I actually I don't know why, but I think it's it's all the 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 way that they were dressed up in it, you know, it was just a really really amazing, like really very very exotic, and uh, and I wish I wish I had a little Dora the Explorer. When I grew up, that's what I missed the most. Um, but I, you know, I had other, you know, other things that would inspire me actually, and that's something that I would, I didn't think of sharing that. But um, I don't know if any of you watch something which is called Candy, but Candy did a lot for me. She really gave me a role model to uh, to follow and to be courageous and to go for what I wanted. So that's another massive inspiration from my childhood. But when it comes to travel, here you are, the Blue Lotus. And did, can you see this? Yes. So when I was in, Ch in China and I, um, I saw that they had, they had shops where you could buy silk and they were doing the old traditional silk tunics, which I remembered from, from the book. Uh, so let me show you. Um, this ones, yes. And I really thought, oh my God, I would love to have one. I would love to feel like I am in Tintin. So that's what I did. So let me show you what I um, had a, um, uh, I had a, a Simsters, no, we call it a tailor, huh? uh, do uh, for me. So I'm going to turn my little chair here. Just bear, bear with me and put it like this because I'm so happy to have this and hopefully this will work. So ah, I might put it somewhere that's a little bit higher. Whoops, ah, bear with me, sorry. There we are. So, I don't know if you can see it. Ah. This thing is falling off. Okay, hopefully this will stay. No, it's not going to stay. Sorry for that. Okay, so here we are. Yes, it's this magnificent silk tunic, which I am going to put on. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So one of the... Ah, I thought if I do it like that, it would be, it would be quicker. So, yeah, as I have explained many times, one of the things that I love doing when I go somewhere is really honor the culture of that country 
and bring traditional clothes back from uh, from that country. So here you are. This is not that I wear it anywhere, but I absolutely love it. And just to show you the um, how beautiful how beautiful it is. So you have the little little button here, yeah. But it's also the wonderful the wonderful black and blue silk. I think it's better if I if I stand here. So I'm going to take it off because it's actually really <laughs> really really warm. But you can you can see how beautiful it is and how they make all the little buttons as well, which I absolutely love. So as I undress myself, the one thing that also was happened, you know, after and look at the at the lining as well, how it is how it is done. Um, let me put that nicely here um, and go back. There you are. Sorry, it's a bit wanting to move um but i needed to i needed to be next to a plug because what what happened as well is that when i started dreaming about traveling i asked my parents for a globe yes and this is my first ever globe which i found again and look at this Ta -da! and i used to dream about so many different countries it it's just i never knew you know i never knew as a child that i could go to any of the places that were on here yes i'm keeping my globe to myself now it's always with me and what i'd love to know now is um yesterday i asked you whether there was someone who inspired you to travel and today i'd love to know whether there is a book uh, that really inspired you as well. And and another thing, if you're a fan of candy, can we please hook up? Hook up? Because I, uh, I I just, I adore her as well. So thank you very much. And I hope you could, um, yeah, you could remember your childhood and what made you dream. Um, have a lovely day. Bye.